Hey guys, Tom here, also known as Synth Hacker, bringing you another how to use for Sonic Academy. In this how to use video, we're going to be taking a look at Extra Records MIDI plugin Cthulhu. Now this plugin is actually, you can kind of think of as a hybrid between two different plugins. In the top half with, with the dark gray background here we have an arpeggiator and in the bottom half with the light gray background we have the chord generator. Um, now you can use these individual components separately or with each other, it's completely up to you really. So if you are only interested in creating cool chord progressions, um, you can just use the chord generator or if, you just if you've already kind of got a chord progression written down and you want to create some cool melodic um, sequences then you can just use the arpeggiator section. The real kind of goal of this plugin is to generate melodic ideas which can, can then be sent to other instruments of your choice. Um, you can also just listen to whatever's going on in Cthulhu using the inbuilt saw wave generator as well if I just press a note here. <laughs> You can hear that we just have some basic saw waves coming out of Cthulhu there to demonstrate whatever's going on. Um, but what you'll definitely want to do is actually route the MIDI from Cthulhu to an instrument of your choice. Um, I'd highly recommend checking out the, the manual for how to do that because it shows you how to do that for all different um, DAWs, including like Ableton, um, FL, I think, and Logic and DAWs like that. Um, I'll also show, also show you how I did it in Ableton in the second half of this video where we're going to be taking a look at some real world examples um, as well. So starting with the chord generator, I'll just go over some of the basics. So you can see we have this menu in the top right here, which will actually allow us to select from a selection of chords. So any one of these presets here actually contains up to 128 chords in one preset. And really the bread and butter presets of Cthulhu are these back chorales, which are really just a, col a collection. Each, each one is a collection of chords um, written by um, back, so like chord progressions that actually modulate key quite a lot as well. Um, or if you have a specific key in mind you want to write in, you can also choose from these diatonic um, selections of chords as well. Um, so for example, if we select um, F minor, G sharp major, all the kind of chords that we play here are going to be within that key. Whereas if we select a back chorale, a lot of the time um, it's actually going to modulate key quite a lot. But that, inter interestingly enough, can actually lead to some pretty interesting um, results. Um, a lot of the time it can sound a little bit random with the back chorales, but sometimes you do stumble on really, really cool um, chord progressions. Um, so in terms of what's actually going on visually, you can see this little red mark here indicates what note I'm actually pressing on the keyboard at any one point. And then these green uh, notes actually represent the notes that have been outputted um, as a result. You can also see these green notes in this top part of the, um, the interface here as well. Um, so you can actually change uh, the notes in any one um, chord slot that you, you, you've got selected, um, either by um, clicking and dragging on, on the actual keyboard itself, or you can move up and down on here as well. Um, you can also lock individual notes in place so that if I was to now play a different chord, um, the C4 would carry on playing. which can be really cool to get some like kind of drony um, type chord progressions going on. Um, and then under the individual notes, you can also see there's a numerical value. This corresponds simply to the velocity of the note that's playing, which you can um, just change by just, uh, dragging and dropping anywhere from 100% uh, to 0% to 200% um, as well. And then above we have some additional controls. We have the learn function, which actually allows you to play notes into Cthulhu and it will store them in the selected chord slot. Um, and then you also have just basic copy and paste controls to copy one chord from one slot to another. And then a WTF control, which actually just creates a random chord on whichever chord slot you have selected. Um, we then have a basic uh, drop down menu here, which actually allows you to resort and remove um, specific chords in the um, chord. Uh, so the selection of chords that you have selected. Um, you can also save the 
either the chord preset that you created or the app preset individually, or you can save them as one as well. And you can also import your own um, CSV or MIDI files into Cthulhu as well, if you so wish. Um, just to go over some of the basic sort controls, um, you can sort by low note absolute, which um, just sorts it from the lowest numerical MIDI value, or you can sort it by pitch class, which will um, basically sort the chords from lowest note, um, the, the chords with the lowest note to chords with the highest note. Um, so the high that would be the, the lowest low note to the highest low note, if that makes sense. So our numerical values don't really take into consideration the pitch, whereas um, the pitch class will actually sort chords, say you have a C minor chord, um, it will actually s select that to be first, and then also it will have other C chords that might be an octave above if that kind of makes sense. Um, and then you have the option to sort it by high note and number of notes as well. And then you can sort co chords by chromatic or circle of fifths. So chromatic would be, you know, say you have like an A minor, um, that would be like the, the probably the, the lowest. And then it would it have all the A sharp chords and then all the B chords and so on. Where the circle of fifths will sort it depending on the circle of fifths. So I might start with a C chord to a G chord to a D chord and so on and so forth. Um, you also have the ability to remove certain chords. Say you don't want any one note, uh, two note, or three note um, chords, or you want to remove duplicate chords. And then you also have some interesting options to um, change major chords to minor, minor chords to major, and so on, as well as all these interesting rules that you can kind of implement um, as well. Um, so that pretty much covers the, the chord section, the chord generator section of Cthulhu. Now let's take a look at the arpeggiator.